When I was a kid, people would often ask me, how do you swear in Japanese? And I have no idea. Like, I didn't know how to swear as a kid because mostly I learned from my mom and like TV. And then as I got older, I kind of started to think maybe there isn't such a thing as swearing in Japanese, like not in the same way as there is in English. And so I asked my friend, who's Japanese. How do you say f in Japanese? As in like, ah, oh, that f***ing guy, or f*** you, or what the f***? What? Uh, I have to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> How would you say, god f*** it? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. How would you say like shit? Kuso. Kuso. That guy's an asshole. Mm, like, okay, but then what does that what does that mean? Uh that's like um somebody that's not good? Uh that's an un ungood person. Well, that's like a short of like Iyanayatsu. Somebody I don't like. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's like hateful. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Hateful guy. Okay. What does chikisho mean? Oh, you can do that. Yeah, but That's what does that mean? Um, what does that mean? God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. So there you have it. There's not a lot of like swearing in Japanese. The closest was probably the last one, which would be like chikisho, which literally means domesticated animal life kind of thing but it's kind of translated as a brute or something but it's really more in the attitude you gotta say it like Chiksha! i had a friend who was really good at japanese like his vocabulary was way better than mine but his pronunciation was a little bit off and so one day he was like super frustrated about something and you could really tell and so he he let out this chiku show which i mean, just kind of yeah, it just did not really sell the word. It, it just sort of sounded more like, oh, gall darn it. And it was like, ah. yeah, I don't, I don't think that was the right use there. Uh, so I wouldn't use that word unless you could really commit to the essence of it. Um, but yeah. So things that actually are offensive to say in Japanese are things like omae, which means you, um, or anta, which is like also you, or teme, which is also, actually means name but is used in reference to you. Another one would be konyaro, which literally means like this guy. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious if you think about it. It's like, ah, this guy. And it's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's super offensive in Japanese. But again, it's not really, you know, the word. It's, it's like the attitude, which is kind of why I'm not really going over these words like as carefully as I have in like past videos. Because I don't, I don't really think it's useful to kind of teach you the actual words and how to pronounce it because it's really saying them without actually um, having a background in it is just going to come across as more like somebody saying, I don't know, like a kid come up to you and saying, poop. It's just, you know, it's kind of more hilarious than like offensive, which it kind of begs the question. It's like, why do people ask me how to swear in Japanese? I don't know. I think it's kind of this thing where People want to get a rise out of people or a reaction or something with a minimal amount of effort and they think it's kind of cool or funny or something. But like, it's Japan. They're going to be offended for all sorts of things. Like you can, you could totally offend somebody way easier than that. You could just walk into somebody's house with your shoes on and that's like super offensive. So like, I mean, don't bother learning words to do things like that. And I'm mean, like, the other thing that is kind of interesting about it, like just from a cultural perspective, because why is it that these things don't really exist in Japan or in Japanese? And I think it's actually more like why do these things exist and why are they kind of offensive in English? And well, that's mostly because in America especially, we come from a puritanical, puritanical background. And so like things like sex and, and uh, other things were considered impure or, or gross or unholy. Uh, here's another example. In French, or specifically Canadian French, you know, sometimes there's this word tabernacle, which I think like comes from tabernacle or something like that. And it's it's essentially their their equivalent of a curse word, but it's it's offensive because religion was like a big deal over there, and so saying something profane or saying using that word was like a profane thing because you're not treating it with the proper respect. Whereas in Japan, like religion wasn't as big of a thing, 
and and it because it wasn't from a sort of a puritanical background like sex wasn't as big of a thing japanese society is super repressive and like constrained but like it's this weird thing like sex is just like this thing like animals have sex humans have sex it's just a part of life you know they don't really talk about it so much but it's not as like hidden away or shameful in in Japanese society, I think, in, 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 in the same way that it is in American society. And so you don't have the taboo words in the same way. And, and similarly, you don't have like the profane words that use, that take, you know, the Lord's name in vain or something or, or, or damnation or something like that. It doesn't have the same kind of punch in Japanese. And so the things that are offensive are more things, like I was saying, the various words for you. And they're offensive not because, you know, the word you is offensive, but more because it's kind of disrupting the hierarchy and you're saying you're not paying the proper amount of respect to somebody that's either m that you should be respecting more or, or whatever. And you're and so you're being overly familiar. So, you know, I thought that was kind of interesting. So even though I haven't really said a whole lot of words in the same way as the past videos, I hope that this has been at least a little bit interesting and maybe a little insightful into swearing in Japanese. Say hello. Wow. <laughs> if you don't have to. But yeah, this is actually a little microphone in itself, and so I can use that instead of the, the computer microphone. Pretty neat, huh? You want to go eat? You want to go eat? What do you want to eat? Okay, we'll figure out something.